You are listening to the Daily Gospel Reflections with Sister Cloth. This podcast is brought to you by the Pauline's Multimedia. It is our mission to bring the Word of God to all peoples through sounds and images, voices, and music. Come and join us as we share with you a thought a day. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark, chapter 10, verses 35 to 45. James and John, the sons of Zebedee, came to Jesus and said to him, Teacher, we want you to do for us whatever we ask of you. He replied, What do you wish me to do for you? They answered him, Grant that in your glory we may sit one at your right and the other at your left. Jesus said to them, You do not know what you are asking. Can you drink the cup that I drink or be baptized with the baptism with which I am baptized? They said to him, We can. Jesus said to them, The cup that I drink, you will drink. And with the baptism with which I am baptized, you will be baptized. But to sit at my right or at my left is not mine to give, but it's for those for whom it has been prepared. When the ten heard this, they became indignant at James and John. Have a marvelous and fruitful Sunday. Before we discuss James and John's blunt request in today's gospel, I'd like us to recall the context in which they thought of asking Jesus to appoint them to sit one at his right hand and one at his left in his glory. Our reading for today begins with verse 35. If we rehash verses 32 to 34, Mark narrates Jesus' prediction of his imminent passion and death. That was when they were on their way up to Jerusalem and Jesus took the twelve disciples aside and told them what would happen to him. This announcement of Jesus' threatening ordeal confused the disciples. What they could not understand was why believing that Jesus was all-knowing, he couldn't do something to save himself from such a tragic end. Note the last words of Jesus' announcement where he said, Three days later, he will rise again. These words of Jesus moved James and John with a hopeful desire to be with him. So they asked him to sit one at his right hand and one at his left in his glory. They said, in his glory. St. Mark did not tell us exactly how the disciples envisioned his glory. Maybe uh, they visualized something of importance and fame, so they asked to participate. I was also struck by the reactions of the other disciples who heard about the request of these two disciples. They were so annoyed. Maybe they too fantasized about the words, His glory, as something grand and majestic. That's why they were disconcerted. What if Jesus considered the request of James and John? Then they would have been probably left with a lower possession. Was that the reason for being angry? That being said, my thoughts shifted to their motives for following Jesus. Have Christ's disciples ever considered payoffs for their services with Jesus? That also leaves us with the same question for reflection. In volunteering my time or my talents for charitable, educational, or other worthwhile activities, especially in the church, and in my community, do I give my services for free or do I resent it? If I am not given any compensation, when I do some favors to people in need, even to my family and relatives, do I do it out of love or always expect something in return and even do it 
with certain conditions sometimes. Let us come to think of it. Be with us again tomorrow as we share with you a thought a day. Meanwhile, you can follow us and listen to other Apple and Google podcasts on Spotify, produced by Pauline's Multimedia. Have a good day.